Welcome back. Well, right now there is an urgent need for volunteers to speak on behalf of local children in foster care. The court appointed special advocate program known as CASA is looking for people who can help make a difference. It's part of the family division of the 8th Judicial District Court recruits, screens, trains, and supports volunteers to represent the best interests of hundreds of foster children. So joining me now is CASA volunteer Lisa Nelson. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Erica. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. Okay, so she tells me she's been with CASA for over 10 years years so tell us about the program and what it means to you yeah my journey started quite a while ago with CASA um, it began when I was volunteering at nonprofit events dressed as a princess oh and what struck me the most about interactions with children in foster care was a certain level of depth to the interactions mm -hmm. these are just regular kids just like any other who just really need human connection right mm -hmm. now and so to be able to hold their hands and help them see that despite the trauma they've endured, they are valued. That was a simple task that went a really long way. And it was one that I felt like I could double down on by volunteering as a CASA. Wonderful. Do you feel that you have been able to have an impact um, being a volunteer for CASA? Absolutely. CASA volunteers commit to showing up consistently for and spending a lot of time with the kids that they're advocating for. So they often become the most knowledgeable person on the case as far as understanding who that child is and what their needs are, mm -hmm. which is a critical perspective to have, especially in a courtroom where decisions are being made about that child's life. Mm -hmm. What would you tell someone who may be thinking right now about being a CASA volunteer? So first I'll name that entering a system that's unfamiliar and mm -hmm. speaking before a judge can be daunting at first. Mm -hmm. um, so I always tell new volunteers to try not to let the complexity of the whole system or the whole world's problems um, get in the way of just simply being there for a child who just really needs a positive influence in their life. Wonderful. And what, what have you heard from, you know, clients that you've been able to help or like, cause I know in 10 years, you probably built some pretty solid relationships. Yeah. One of the greatest joys of being a CASA is those relationships mm -hmm. and the opportunity to touch a child's life in a way that Sometimes, you know, they stay in your life long term and, you know, you become Auntie Lisa or <laughs> <laughs> a forever friend. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really about relationships and being that positive voice in a child's life. It, it'll give you so much fulfillment, so much joy, and you will be so supported along the way by the program staff as well. Wonderful. So where can people go if they want more information to become a CASA volunteer like you? Yeah, so a great first step is actually to attend an orientation to learn a little bit more and see if it's the right fit. And you can do that at CasaLasVegas.org. Okay. Well, Lisa, thank you so much. So like she said, go to CasaLasVegas.org to learn more information and do some great work in our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here.